Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a false lashes tutorial on basically how I can give myself some more volume and fullness with my lashes because as you guys can see, I don't really have much of a natural lash. I have a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, but it's really not much. So if you want to see how you can go from this to either one of these options, which I feel like looks really good, then make sure you keep watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. So I like to take a little bit of concealer on my eyelid. I just feel like it allows the lash glue to have something to stick to it so it lasts a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Roller Lash from Benefit. I'm gonna do a very thin, just one coat of mascara all over my lashes. I like to do my mascara before I apply my lashes and not after because it, it helps your false lashes last a lot longer. So I get a lot more wears out of my false lashes, which at the end of the day is the best thing because then you can reuse your lashes multiple times. So I'm trying to help you save some coin too, sis, okay? Um, but after you go in with your mascara, you wanna pick up a natural pair of lashes. These are 75 from MAC Cosmetics. They're very thin, like kind of a Demi Wispy, very similar to the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm just applying them to my lashes right now just to check the length of them because sometimes lashes are a little too long or a little too short, so you wanna make sure that they fit your eye shape perfectly. So after determining that they do fit me, I'm gonna take a small handheld mirror and some clear lash glue, and I'm just telling you guys that you need to look down into the mirror. This is gonna help you apply the lashes a lot easier. You wanna do one thin layer of lash adhesive all across the lash band, evenly covering it, kind of blow on it for like 10 seconds, and then you wanna pop those bad boys right on. I like to attach it in the center of the lash first, so the center of my lash is kind of coming from on top and pushing down on my lash line, and then I attach the end of the lash, and then I attach the inner corner. Sometimes the inner corner doesn't wanna stick at first cause the glue is still a little bit too wet. So if you wait for it to get a bit more tackier, it'll kind of just stick and stay there. I was having a little bit of trouble with that, but I eventually got it to stick to my inner corner. Then I'm taking my tweezers and I'm kind of just pinching my lashes and the false lashes together. Then I also go in with my fingers and I kind of do the same thing. It's a bit easier when your nails aren't super long, but this is the end result. Your lashes look super natural. You can't even tell that you have on a false lash. Like they look so good. Then I'm just showing you guys, if you want, you have the option of doing a really thin line of eyeliner, liquid liner, just along the lash band. This will make the lashes look a little bit fuller at the root. It also helps disguise the lash band a lot more. Taking that same roller liner from Benefit Cosmetics, I'm gonna do a thin line on the other eye because we're gonna do our dramatic lashes next. I always like to do at least like a really small thin line with thicker bands for a lash because I feel like it just helps it blend in and look a little bit less obvious. And these are little lashes in the style Monaco. I'm gonna go in with a thicker coat of glue this time because our band is a lot thicker. Um, and I'm just going to bend that lash and kind of round it out. I want it to fit my eye shape and my eye shape is kind of rounded. So I'm kind of just molding and bending the lash band to kind of loosen it up, but also make it mold to my eye shape better. But I did the same steps where I apply it by the center of the lash first, then I attach the outer corner and then I attach the inner corner and I pinch everything together with the tweezers along the lash line base as well as with my fingers. So I'm just going down the line and squeezing it together. And that's what our dramatic lash looks like. It looks really good. So let me know down below, which one do you like? Do you Are you more of a natural kind of gal? Like, do you like a natural lash that you can kind of wear every day? Or are you more into like the fuller, more mink style, dramatic, volumized lash? I, I honestly love both, and there are days where I'm doing one or the other. So let me know down below what you guys think. You can go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up down below, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.